usurp so decided to switch the setting up a little bit and go to the beach and i wanted to come anyway i like to go uh, like every week at one point we were going every day so i thought why not talk about my workout from the seaside um did you're gonna put a little shot of the seaside in at this moment anyway so <laughs> so yeah every two days i do my shoulders i warm the shoulders up and today's handstand was straight bar handstand i think i'm actually making a little bit of progress now i've showed on instagram how much i fucking suffer with that exercise it's like being a complete beginner again and now i'm at that stage where i'm like huh i kind of got movement in my hands and I'm, um, you know, I'm getting five seconds minimum each time. Like the average has come up. We can talk about that more in a different video. And then every two days I do my lower body as well, instead of planche and front lever. So upper, lower, upper, lower. Today was carb, calves, tips, and hamstrings. So I did Nordic curls uh, with the two finger assist kind of get two finger training and hamstring training as a double whammy. Then it was upper mobility. So we like to do, actually it was Diddy's idea, front splits as well as the bridge because we're warming up the hip flexors anyway because you get a bit of bridge when you do that. And so we may as well, we superset upper with lower through the whole session. I tweaked that, so that's a, an, an amendment for this week. So started off with pullovers. Pullover. No, it's a cardigan, but thanks for noticing. Split squats, because we did them during our reload. And I was like, yeah, we, we need these in our life. It's pretty much a, uh, a shy front split anyway, massive hip flexor stretch. Those two supersetted together. Then bridge makers, I call them. I don't know what they're actually called. I've not seen them before. So bridge makers and J curls or Jefferson curls. I decided to go for the straddle a little bit because I'm trying to improve my pancake for the straight arm press. And the more mobility you have, the less strength you need. At the minute, I need a fuck ton of strength because I'm kind of planching into my press. But I'll take whatever I can get and eventually I'll be able to stack my hips on top of the shoulders like the yogis and all them. So, <clears throat> onto side bends supersetted with the couch stretch did a, a new mod a new variation of the couch stretch today i've just been doing it body weight up to this point because i thought well it's hard enough anyway but actually when you add the weights and lean forward you get you stretch a different part of the quads and it's just a different feel so i did a little bit of both and I love that spot with the wall, really gripping the wall and fucking hanging off it to pull myself into the stretch. And side bends, like I said the other day, I can't get enough of them. Today I did it standing, weighted with the kettlebell. These are one of the best, really. You see it done quite quickly and people are mainly doing it for the abs or the, or the lateral chain rather than the mobility. but. I'm trying to, I'm not doing as many reps. Today I only did, what did I do, 10? I'd started with 10 and then I really slowed it down and did five reps, but I made each rep at the negative last at least five seconds at the, at the lowest part. Then onto bridge push-ups with front split slides. So um, specific training for what we're trying to achieve just before the attempts. The bridge push-ups I, I normally start elevated 
it's a regression. It looks a little bit harder, but it's actually easier because your feet are higher, so it's it's simpler to get your shoulders over the wrists. So I go back to that one all the time. Then I get to get a little bit of kickover training in, which is still a goal of mine, but I just think my mobile my mobility my mobility isn't quite there yet to get that kick over i'll probably get a fucking back handspring before i get a kick over and then the front splits are the slides are as it says you're just do, trying to do it nice and slow and controlled not putting much weight on the staffs or the the sticks if you're using them just a little pincer grip and then, yeah, each rep would last about five seconds and then I'll open up the hips towards the end of the rep. And then, yeah, it's on to attempts, which is optional every week. We give, a, we give ourselves the option to do it. Um, yeah, I went for one, one attempt for each of, of my front splits on my bridge. To be honest, it's not really about the attempt, and I want to do a video about this soon, but it's it's about the training. It's not about the testing. So it is fun sometimes if you've got loads of energy at the end of the session to see what you've got, but it's not always a true reflection of where you're at anyway. You might be under-recovered or, you know, you, I, you sometimes know when you're going to get a PB because you've been loading up for a while planted those seeds, watering them without looking. The longer you can refrain from checking out your attempts or your, you know, your efforts to, to try and do the thing you're trying to do, the better it is. You know what I mean? It's like that game, uh, what's the time, Mr. Wolf, when you're looking around and then you turn around and everyone's in a different place. It's like that. The plant's not really going to grow if you just sit there fucking staring at it. So, yeah. If you can, anyway, hopefully that makes sense. The last thing I'll say is, if you have got any ideas for a video, or like there's something that you wouldn't mind being covered, then let us know, because I'll be checking them once a week. And if, if the, especially if there's a recurring theme, then we'll try and get it out there. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be working through the ideas that I've got so far, which there's still plenty more where that came from. I'm trying to put things out that me as a, a fan and a student and an apprentice of calisthenics hasn't seen in, in the five years that I've been training, training advanced calisthenics. That's another whole other thing. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to put stuff out that I think hasn't been covered rather than just fucking copying the latest trends. But if you've got any ideas, let us know and we'll get around to it. Cheers.